Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about shortcuts. Is they one of the most underrated features of iOS? Now, if you have the right shortcuts on your device, you will be able to do a lot more, actually replace probably a ton of apps and do things automatically and even do them much, much faster. So in today's video, I have some really amazing new shortcuts to share with you guys that are super useful and will help you a lot by using your iPhone on daily basis with these shortcuts installed. Now, before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you find them helpful, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel a lot. And we're starting things off with Calarm. Now, what this does is that it combines your calendar and your alarms. So let's say on today's calendar, you have a meeting or you have maybe a flight, then this will set up alarms for you. So if you have a meeting, all you have to do is just run this and it will basically create an alarm on your device that will be 15 minutes before the meeting. Or if you have a flight, it will be five hours before the flight. And it's actually super useful. As you can see, all you have to do is just run the shortcut and it will do that automatically. So right here, if we go to the clock, you can see it already has created that alarm for the meeting that I have. So you can see right here, it says 1325. In this case, I had the meeting set up for earlier here on the calendar. But again, you can see how cool that is. It will actually be very, very fast and will create alarms automatically for you. Add portrait effect is up next. Now this is a shortcut that you use for your photos and what it does is that it adds the portrait effect to normal pictures. So if you have a picture that you have shot and it doesn't have the portrait effect, you just shot it on the normal mode, you can go ahead and add that effect afterwards using the shortcut. You simply run the shortcut and of course find the photo on the photos app and once you have found the photo, it will show you this pop up right here. You can choose the intensity of the blur that will be on the back of the subject of the photo. So you will have a few options here. And as you can see right here in a couple of seconds, it will be done. And now we have this normal photo turned into a portrait photo. Next up is set audio output. Now this is a very small, very useful shortcut for your device. It will automatically set the audio output to any device that you select. Once you have added this shortcut, what you can do is just have the three dots right there. And then it will say like this, set playback destination two. In this case, it's iPhone. I can tap there and choose my Mac in this case. And then all I have to do is go back here. And whenever I run this shortcut, it won't ask for anything. It will just automatically set the audio output to my Mac. And I can do this if I have an, like a Bluetooth speaker or something like that. Now, if you have multiple devices, then you can duplicate this shortcut and just set different devices on different one of the copies of the shortcut and just run any device you want at any time. Time Machine is up next. This shortcut will go back a year and show you photos from the same day or same week, whatever you choose on the setup of the shortcut, from a year from now, basically, it shows you all the cool pictures that you have taken and that are saved on your camera roll. You simply run the shortcut and you will have the photos like right here. You can just swipe through them. So just like that, it will show you the photos. I can like not swipe right here, show you my pictures, but you will have them like this. You can just go ahead and swipe there. You can even tap right there if you want to resave that to your photos or to your files. Convert Burst to GIF is a pretty cool one that also has to do with photos. Anytime you take burst pictures, you can just grab all of those at once and turn them into a GIF file, which is actually super cool. You simply run the shortcut and select the photos from your library. And once you have done that, then it will show you this pop up from here. You can go ahead and share that GIF file or just go ahead and save it on, on your library, of course, where all your photos are. 
flashlight timer is up next. Now, what this does is that it allows you to set a timer for your flashlight. So let's say you want to turn on the flashlight, but you want to leave your iPhone somewhere where you cannot reach later on to turn off the flashlight. Well, you can set a timer for your flashlight, or maybe you just want to leave the flashlight on while until you sleep and then of course turn it off. Well, you will have a timer for that. So you can go ahead and choose any of the presets, 5, 10, 30, or 60 minutes, or you can just go ahead and type right there. You can go ahead and type the exact number of minutes you want, and then after that time, your flashlight will turn off automatically. Next up is battery stats. Now, this shortcut is used from the settings app from the share sheet. It will show you the exact stats you need for your battery not the ones that you see on the battery health information this actually shows the exact details the exact details that you actually need to know and to do that head on to the settings go under privacy and security and then go right here under analytics and improvement go to analytics data and then what you need to do is go and find where it says analytics here find the last one so the like 28th in this case from today, tap the share button right there at the top and then tap on more here and you will have battery stats right here. You can go ahead and run it and just wait for the result. It will show you the pop-up right here. And there you go, just like that, it will show you the exact information regarding your battery. In this case, we have the original maximum milliamp hours of the battery. You will see that this is never exactly the same as Apple will actually advertise, usually is a lot more than that. And then you will have here the current capacity, and then right here you will have the battery's health, of course, based on the original maximum capacity and the current capacity. Next up is save for later. Now save for later will allow to save pretty much everything you want to your notes app, like websites, maybe videos from YouTube, basically anywhere where you can just use the share button, you will have that option. So if we tap on the share button right here on the web page on Safari, we will have the option here to run the shortcut here, save for later. And then just like that, we can go ahead and allow this, just tap always allow if you, allow if you don't want to bother with it. And then it will automatically create a new note and save that link for that website or video, whatever that is, into your notes app. And last but not least is turn text into audio. This is a simple shortcut, yet it's actually very useful as it allows us to basically input any text you want and it will turn it into audio. So if you, if you wanna paste something or type something, that's not a problem. You will see this right here. So we can just go ahead and write anything we want right here, tap the dumb button, and then this will be turned on into like an audio file and you can see how quick that is. Now from here, we'll have a player where you can play anything that it has turned into audio. You can also tap the share button if you want to share it, or you will have also the option here to go ahead and just save it under your files app. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are some of the best shortcuts that you can get right now on your iOS 26 device that are actually very useful, and you will probably find yourself using a lot of these on daily basis. So if you enjoyed any of them and you liked any of them, you can go ahead and download them. I'll I will leave like all the links pinned right down below in the comment section. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Of course, subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.